Hello and welcome back to the XRP Vault, where we bring you the most up-to-date and exciting XRP news. We're distributing 10,000 XRP. To be eligible, all you have to do is upvote subscribe, remark XRP is king, and watch the video till the conclusion. The winners will be chosen next month and announced on the channel's community page. In this video, I'd want to talk about what Brad Garland House just did. He sent out some strong signs last night that a settlement in the Ripple SEC case could be on the horizon. Because this is spectacular and could be a sign that this case is coming to an end, make sure to watch the entire video because you won't want to miss it. Guys, we'll also talk about how to create central bank digital currencies on the best platform possible because the CBDCs will be quite useful. And whatever public blockchain is able to capture this value will see the price of that token rise exponentially. In this video, I'll explain whether XRP or another blockchain is best suited to do so. Please stick around for that. As a result, I'd want to start this film with some entertaining material. Steven issued me a warning. Keep in mind that when the SEC initially launched its action against Ripple, many people believed the end of the world had arrived. Many people believe that Ripple and XRP are doomed. I'd like to show you that business for Ripples has never been greater. Furthermore, beyond from reducing its activity in the United States, the SEC has done little to stop it. As Stephen pointed out, you carry the eternal mystery, and that is the first thing I want to show you. After three years of litigation, the SEC filed a complaint against Ripple, claiming that all XRP sales through Ripple are illegal. However, unlike in the past, the SEC makes no attempt to prevent further Ripple transactions. Instead, Ripple is already selling more XRP than ever before. This is one of the most perplexing aspects of the ongoing SEC investigation. When the SEC sues a company for marketing and unlawful securities, they typically receive a direction directing them to stop marketing the asset because Ripple is currently selling more XRP than ever before. In the SEC instance, the SEC has not even attempted to halt this guy's activities. One of the key reasons, in my opinion, is that the SEC is aware that it will be hard to categorize XRP as a genuine security in the end, and I believe the SEC is aware of how tough it will be to convince Ripple to cease selling XRP. Because the SEC only has legal authority over Americans, Ripple will be able to sell XRP in any other market where the SEC has no authority if the SEC seeks an injunction to prevent Ripple from doing so. This is a major issue for the SEC. And this is a fantastic example of why U.S. securities regulations do not apply to cryptocurrencies because the SEC has complete jurisdiction. As a result, if they want to prevent a corporation from selling a specific asset, they can restrict its access to public markets. However, because the Bitcoin market is global, this type of thing does not work. Guys, fortunately for us, Ripple has previously stated that XRP is not a security in almost every other country. I believe the SEC is increasingly understanding how terribly this case was handled. Furthermore, it is quite unlikely that XRP secondary sales will be classified as securities. At this point, the SEC, I assume, is simply looking for a statement that Ripple was needed to register some of their early transactions. Guys, it appears that neither the SEC nor anyone else believes they can prevent the sale of XRP by a Ripple in the future. And, folks, I think what you bear staff has pointed out here is simply fantastic evidence that the SEC almost always tries to prevent the company under investigation from selling the underlying asset when they launch a lawsuit. Guys, the SEC made no attempt to do so in this case. Furthermore, it illustrates the SEC's confidence in this circumstance. Guys, let me quickly go over something that I believe is an excellent demonstration of the strength of XRP-based Ripple products. When a corporation is sued by the SEC, many of its partners may be hesitant to do business with that company again. After all, the SEC is a formidable regulatory authority. Furthermore, Americans commonly believe that the SEC solely targets corporations that engage in questionable or criminal actions. Guys, as you can see, 
XRP-based items from Ripple are growing at a rate of 100% every year. Guys, this just goes to show how effective XRP is as a product in terms of revolutionizing payment systems. Guys, if Ripple only sold a minor thing, it wouldn't be all that great. Many of their partners would have deserted them as soon as they were sued by the SEC. This highlights how effective Ripple's products are since all of these different firms that use Ripple will continue to use XRP because it's such a tremendous improvement over the old system. This is one of the most beautiful things we've ever seen, guys. This proves that the sole problem now afflicting the market is regulators. Ripple's product, XRP, is one of the most popular on the market. And they are the two most important points, gentlemen. It is actually a positive trend that regulators, rather than the underlying technology or the market's greatest obstacle, are on the rise. Finally, additional pro-cryptocurrency regulators are anticipated to join the system each year in the shape of new regulators. However, it will fail if you do not have good technology. This proves that XRP is a technology that, despite what the authorities say, people still want. And, gentlemen, this simply shows that rippling products are fast spreading, independent of what happens in the near term with the SEC, which is only a tiny impediment. And the men are simply waiting to learn what this number is. Many of the larger players are still hesitant to work with the SEC once it is out of the way. Guys, once that impediment is overcome, this statistic will skyrocket. And, gentlemen, I'm extremely thrilled to see what happens. The SEC will be out of the way for us soon. And this is just another amazing illustration of how fantastic things are at Ripple. So, let us discuss about CBDCs. One of the main reasons I am so optimistic about XRP is that with CBDCs, there is a large amount of value that must be tokenized, and XRP is a leading technique for doing so. Many people are continually talking how this or that project will use XRP for CBDCs. Corium is one of the most commonly referenced elements. Guys, I just wanted to let you know that I am not aware of any Corium-based initiatives. I'm not aware of any central banks that use Corium. And, according to RIF's chief CBDC man, RIF constructs CBDCs on private copies of the XRPL and has no awareness of what anyone else utilizing Corium is doing. However, I have yet to see anything that makes advantage of it. This reveals that Ripple has specialist teams that work with central banks to build CBDCs on the XRPL. What could be more encouraging than the fact that central banks are getting Ripple with trillions of dollars of value and aiding them in finding solutions on the XRP ledger? Guys, once we have legislation and these systems take off, these private XRP L versions will be linked to the public ledger. And that value might be transferred to the XRP that you and I own. When it comes to CBDCs, there is no better option than XRP in the current market. It's not only that XRP is the best technology. Because almost no other project has an all-star staff like Ripple, it can allow these varied enterprises that are comfortable with blockchain technology to employ XRP to address those challenges. You can now go look for any low-cap tools that might be able to find a place in this market. However, XRP is the clear preference for tokenizing central bank digital currency money. As a result, numerous people will inform you. Finally, at the end of the day, no other project has such a dedicated team as Ripple. Oh, it's XL, a more sologenic, guys, and Corium will be the foundation for all CBDCs. Since 2014, Ripple has been mentioned in Federal Reserve documents. Be skeptical of individuals who promise that this other project will outperform Ripple. Tesla was the target of numerous similar claims. Oh no, this multi-V firm is going to grab all of Tesla's businessmen. And the early adopter, the leader, usually has an edge. And, gentlemen, Ripple is doing everything he can to keep that position because I want to end this film with something extremely crazy. Stephanie Baird discovered this, guys. Some may argue that it is simply a strange coincidence. There's nothing to look into, gentlemen. For me, there is no doubt that we should pay attention to this. Here's Brad Garland's residence, which I'll show by going to his Twitter account. 
To begin with, Brad Garland House continues to follow 589 users, which is hardly random at this point. He's doing it on purpose. He's attempting to communicate with us. However, when we look at the tweets he liked, we see that he only liked one that was posted more than 1.5 years ago. And with this tweet, he's directly talking a settlement with people. The majority of people believe Brad Garland House went to the advanced Twitter search, typed in the term settlement, and liked a prior post in which he discussed a settlement. Now, folks, this is a settlement from a different case that he randomly chose to like. The point is, why did he act in this manner, and why is he engaged in this conduct with a 589 person following or follower account? Guys, it appears to me that Brad Garland House is attempting to notify us that a settlement in the case we discussed yesterday is nearing completion. We covered yesterday how many other cryptocurrency industry pioneers looked to be enraged that it appeared that Ripple would resolve this issue. So, it looks that everything is in order for this lawsuit to be filed. Settlement. Let's wait and see, but this is typical of guys. Because of this, I don't believe it's a coincidence. It's a touch excessive. Anyway, gentlemen, I appreciate your presence. I hope you had a good time watching this video. If you do, please remember to like and subscribe. At least for the time being. It truly means a